guys, let me start this video uh, with the disclaimer. I'm, there's another disclaimer in. I want you guys to keep in mind, d please, before you start making comments and make judgments, wait to the end of the video because the end of the video is, a lot of this is humor. Um, I, I, there are issues, but they're not so severe that you've got to worry about it. So guys, let's just have some fun with this video. If, if you've got headphones on, here comes the music. I try to bring it down to a level, but the fact is it's probably gonna be louder than me talking and there's not much I can do about it. Um, so please wait to make judgment on this video until the end. And if you guys have not heard Matt Carricker's brother passed away. So if you haven't made comments on Demolition Ranch, Off the Ranch, giving him your condolences, if you follow him, you probably should. So I've been wearing my Demolition Ranch hat and just, just to show, you know, hey, I get it. My dad died of cancer. It's, it's kind of a, just a hang in there kind of, I know he doesn't watch my channel, but at any rate, so guys, here comes the music, turn it down. So guys, the other day I had a thought and it was, it wasn't a good thought because inside my head, there's two people. Uh, there's, there's, there's good decision, Mike. And then there's the bane of Christopher's existence, which is poor decision, Mike, because he doesn't make good decisions. And so I was thinking, well, let's, let me, let me think. What was I thinking about? Hey, Mike, I got an idea. I got something you should do. I got an idea. I got it. It's in here. It's in here. Yeah, you know what you should do? Can't you see I'm I'm reading? I'm busy. What what do you you're always in my head doing something dumb? What what? What's your what's the idea? What's the idea? You should do another one videos like the Cold Steel one and the Emerson one where you like just irritate an entire group of customers and possibly an entire knife company. What you think? You think that's a good idea? You think it's a good idea? I don't know. I, I thought it was a good idea. You know, it's not a horrible idea. I've definitely done worse things. Yeah, 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 you could do it, and you could pick an American-made company that people truly love and disparage them publicly in your video. You should probably make a disclaimer. You know what? Poor decision, Mike. That's a good idea. So now that we've had our fun, I am going to say this is this is my public disclaimer. This is my disclaimer. There, I do not dislike Protect knives. So you guys know from the title, I'm about to talk about Protect knives. What I'm going to point out is there's just some minor things, and it's just one of those things that like. I look at real closely. So what we're going to talk about is we're going to talk about some of the issues I found with Protect knives, but I would like to, like I said, here's my disclaimer. Protect knives are probably some of the best autos you are going to find as far as quality build, construction, the, I mean, Microtech and Protech. Those are your two that you're going to find that are the execution of the mechanism and all that great. What I have a problem with is some QA issues that are coming out that, I mean, for a lot of folks aren't a big deal, but it's just something that I see. And it's one of those things that like, I in good conscience need to point this out. I'm not saying don't buy Protect knives. As a matter of fact, I like this knife. I would, I would buy this, uh, but there's just some minor things that I notice as a knife guy. And I'm not gonna lie to you. It's one of those things that I'm more forgiving of now that I make knives. But that whole beginning, that was fun. I'm not gonna publish, publicly disparage Protech knives. Um, I just, I wanted to do it because I am, I'm noticing this on like all Protech knives these days. Um, this one is not as bad, uh, but we will talk about, what it is, is they've got, there's something offset with their grinder and I will point it out, but we will talk about, I, like this one, holy crap guys, you hear that? <laughs> But this is going to incur the, the ire of some people. They're like, why does it matter? Why does it matter? 
if you don't like what I talk about when I talk about knives and, and, and issues that I see with knives and things like that, then don't, don't watch the channel. Um, and I'm gonna say this as a disclaimer, these are my opinions. I don't think that, I don't think Protect Knives would, would sue me over this. But the, the fact is, like, this isn't like talking about business politics or things like that. This is just simply showing something I noticed on a lot of Protec knives. Uh, so I like Protec. I do. The, I, the, David's a good guy. The, the people I've talked to, like their customer service is great. Um, it's, it's just, there's some minor things that like you as customers should be on the lookout for. Does it affect the overall knife? No, it just affects, it's just something that I've noticed. So I'm gonna get this set up. I'm currently cooking right here. I have a crock pot and everything. We're gonna find a spot on my kitchen table. It might be a better view. We'll look at these knives from top down and I'll show you what I'm talking about. This was just, this was just something for fun. It's something for fun and just something I've noticed. So I have three Protex here. We'll take a look at them and I'll show you the, the little issues that are happening. But in all honesty, we're gonna talk about how, how good, because I'm not gonna lie, everything else executed on this knife is is perfect. It, the way it feels in hand, the that action, amazing. I'm just gonna point out one thing I've noticed with Protex, just something to look out for. So that if you have a chance to buy it at a brick and mortar store and get it in hand, if we're ever not quarantined again, one of the things you should be looking for when you buy one that you've, you've picked up and, and held. So let's go ahead and I'll get it all set up over there. All right guys, so two of these are not as bad. This actually is not a bad backdrop for this. Um, so two of these aren't, they're neither, none of them are really bad. So Protect Knives, they do a lot of push button autos and they have got some of the snappiest, snappiest action. And then you can get custom things done to your knives. Like uh, Ashton has a small Protec with a mother of pearl button, which is actually really cool. Um, this is Matt's. I'm not a big fan of the lanyard, but yeah, you, so you have, you know, you have a push button auto um, in 154CM with the coated blade. Uh, this is the... Shaw Skull Proto from 2012. This, this one, I don't know if it has something marked on it. Uh, we'll check it in a second. This is another Protec here. This is in 154 CM, so that I think that's the model number, the 103, either that or a serial number. Not sure which, but both of these, neither of these is too bad. And this one is the one that has the worst flaw of them. But the point that I was, I'm going to try and see if I can get it in and show you guys without bumping it too much. Can you guys see the plunge and see how the plunge is not executed the same from side to side? This one is deeper than this one. And so what that does is it throws the edge off, which definitely makes it harder to sharpen. And once you have that uneven, it, it, it has a tendency to follow all the way down the blade. And so your edge is not gonna quite be symmetrical. And that means that you have to do a lot of work to rectify that because once the primary grind is off, the, it's gonna carry through all the way. That one's not too bad. I think this one's a little bit more. Let me see if I can get in here at a different angle. So can you see how the plunge terminates in a different spot from here to here? And you can see that that grind, edge grind also starts at a different point. For most people, not gonna be a major issue. It's not even like a showstopper. I have other knives that are like that. I'm just trying to point this out. Something you would wanna look for if you were buying this and you had, had a chance to pick it up. Things to look for. This one is a lefty and it's uh elijah Esch eschewitz is this eschewitz elijah witz however you pronounce it um and this is the factory grind on the edge this is where i'm going to get so this one is very pronounced that the plunge is off 
And so what that leads to is your grind becomes very asymmetrical in certain areas. Um, I've noticed that with with serrated with knives that are partially serrated, you wind up with this more often, uh, much more pronounced. But yeah, you can see that that edge is quite asymmetrical. Now, that is the bad part. Button locks are always done well. So now here we are, we're sitting back down. Um, all the things that I said about these knives, about the, the grind issues, are so minor. I just wanted to bring it to your attention because if you guys are buying a knife and you get a chance to handle it, it was probably gonna be one of those things that you wanna look for. Um, some of them are easier to find than others, some of them aren't. Um, it, it depends on the knife. I've seen some of them that are really heavily off center with the plunge and some of them that are just minor like you saw it here so with all that being taken into account i would like to tell you that protec are probably some of the best quality american-made knives out there when it comes to the build quality the the grind issue being aside it, it happens it happens i'm a lot more forgiving of things like that now that i make knives it's just one of those things that i see because i'm i really scrutinize everything especially when I'm sharpening. I look at a knife and I'm like, okay, because the main thing is when I sharpen a knife, when a customer's knife comes in, if I find anything wrong with the knife, I want to make sure that they know, hey, this was wrong, this was wrong, this is wrong. This is prior to me even putting the knife together or taking it apart or sharpening or even putting it on a stone. So that aside, these are probably some of the best autos you're gonna get. There's like three companies I can think of out there where you're looking at getting super good quality autos. Rest of them are hit and miss. Um, I don't like the Gerber's, uh, the out the front Gerber, it was the Gerber, not the Gerber, the Benchmade, the Benchmade OTF. Um, it's too much slop, too much quality control. These are done very well. Watch this in my hand. The spring on this is so powerful it tries to come out of your hand. I have to hold on to it to keep it from coming out. This one even more so. Watch, watch, watch this. Like it tries to come out of your hand. I've actually had them fly out of my hands. They're aluminum anodizing. They're, they're, they're blade finishes. The, the everything, the pocket clips, everything about them, aside from maybe a minor thing, are amazing. So their quality control might have a low hiccup, but everything else is great. And the fact that they are willing to work with customers to do things that the customer wants. Uh, like I said, Ashton has a. Uh, mother of pearl button their aluminum anodizing is great there's three companies out there i was saying three companies that i would go to if i was looking for an auto it'd be microtech heretic knives or protech um and you know those are your guys that you're going to and i like everybody from microtech i love everybody from heretic knives tony tony jr and and dustin uh, the guys from protech dave and them i've talked to them at shows so i don't want you to think i'm just shitting on their knives their knives are great just minor thing. Um, and like I said, this channel's for fun. And if you can't poke fun at something and then come back and say, okay, that was just for fun. But it is an issue. It's a minor issue. Um, and it leads to having to repair an edge grind. Uh, like I showed you, you can see where the edge is off. Do I want them to fix it? Yeah. It, it's not that I, I it's, it's not at all trying to disparage the company. I, it's one of those companies that I like that I wish their quality control was a little bit better. Cold Steel their quality dropped off. Actually, Cold Steel's gotten so much better. Benchmade, Spyderco, companies that I love or want to love again. This has not reached the point where I don't love this company anymore. I love Protec stuff. Eh, some of their smaller ones are a little bit thick and hard to sharpen. But other than that, you're looking at quality, quality, quality American-made product. Now, you don't hear me saying that about a lot of other companies. Uh, I told you my problems with Millet. I've never seen a millet knife that was not off-center. Never seen a bench-made knife that was not off-center. Companies I want to love, but can't because of the fact that they just overcharge for lower quality. Protec is not that case. That is such a minor thing. Such a minor thing. I just, I like to do content and I like to bring it up and I like to point things out. And it's something I hadn't touched on yet was an issue with Protec knives. So guys, that being said, I love you all. Take care of yourselves. Stay inside. I'm going to get this video edited up and, and on. And if, you know, it gives you something to watch while you're sequestered and, and furloughed like I am, then great. And please, like I said at the beginning, 
hold your judgment till the end because I am not going to disparage and shit on these knives. That that was humor. Um, I I would buy a Protec if if the design like I like this design, but I don't need this knife. I like it. Do I need it? No. Do I want to spend the money on it? No. I'll just borrow mats for occasionally. So that being said, guys, I love you all. Take care of yourselves. Stay inside. If you like the videos, please give them a thumbs up. If you don't like them, give them a thumbs down. Any free thing helps, and I still am gonna do that giveaway. I just have got to get it set up. So what we're gonna do is I'm going to do... Ooh, I think it's simmering. I'm going to do a like to giveaway uh, on the channel for a, for a fiber light fire starter. So hang on just a sec. I gotta open this. I gotta... She was uh, simmering a little too fast. I have, I have a soup, I have a bean soup in a crock pot. Anyway, so yeah, like I said, all that stuff aside, have, take care of yourselves, stay healthy. If you guys are watching this stuff, we did a Netflix party last night and it was great. We had a good time. So take care of yourselves, stay inside. If you don't have to go outside, don't. And be careful, just wear a mask. It's not that big a deal. It's not that hard to, to protect yourself. So love you all, take care of yourselves. And I will probably see you Later this weekend, there's probably gonna be some live feeds. I'm gonna use my, my finger, because the last time I used my phone, I'm reshooting this last section here, because I just deleted it. It never, even, it never even recorded. It was recording and then it stopped. So take care of yourselves. Give them a thumbs up if you don't like them. There'll be stuff in the corners. And um, there'll be discussion down below. So like them, give them a thumbs up. Take it easy, guys. Holy crap, he actually did it. What a bad idea. That's what I'm for. Bad ideas.